to remember when it was actually worth it to get up on Saturday mornings. Now it's a slog and I just feel like dying every Saturday morning when I wake up and think, my God, it's so bad. I wish I had these cartoons from the 80s. Hi guys, it's Margie. It's Dan. It took us. We're the Gen Xers. We are reacting to another post from one of our favorite uh, websites, Board Panda, and another very descriptive title. Uh, 50 posts about the 80s you have to be old enough to get, shared on this Instagram page. Again, we found this on Board Panda. Um, it took two people to write this thing. Mm -hmm. It's very um, detailed, and, and they did their research. Well, yeah, it this. took two people just to write that title. Right. <laughs> Some heavy lifting. Right. I think we got a cat trying to get to us here. Oh, we do. The mailings, a like and subscribe cat. Yep. Good reminder. Go ahead and do our it. official like and subscribe cat. Hello, mailings. That's right. You tell him to hit like and subscribe. Neighborhood feud. My neighbor put a United Federation of Planets flag on his house. The neighbors across the street just raised a Klingon flag. It's not looking good. Are neighborhood feud, feuds an 80s thing? My uncles lived on my street, though, and they feuded a lot. <laughs> my great uncles over the birds. One built birdhouses for Blue Jays. One built birdhouses for robins. Oh, no, he didn't. And they would fight over this constantly to the point where they'd shoot at each other's bird types. And I'd go down as a little kid and try to stop them. Say, please, you know, don't shoot these innocent birds over this whatever is going on here, man. Mm -hmm. I got labeled soft quick. That mm. street. The highest honor in music is the Grammys? No, the highest honor in music is being parodied by Weird Al. That's right. I think I've said on here before that I uh, got my introduction to rock and roll music via Weird Al. That is, I listened to Weird Al before I listened to rock music. So I heard another one, Rides the Bus, and knew that long before I even knew another one, Bites the Dust, was a thing. Or that Queen was even anything other than some lady in England. <laughs> hey, sit by you one All right, Dan, I'm sure you remember this. Oh, yeah. If you played in the street and remember yelling, car! Don't forget, too, uh, the myriad of dangerous place we played, places that we played in the 80s, uh, abandoned houses, yeah. junkyards. Sure. Um, uh, what else? I grew up in an old lead mining town, so throw in abandoned lead mines. Okay, there you go. I remember a particular um, tree, uh, like it was a, it was some tree of the evergreen variety, but the branches went all the way down to the ground. So you could literally step up the whole tree, but that thing went up like 50, 75 feet, and we were at the top of it all the time. Wow. I distinctly remember too, playing with my sister on our neighbor's tire mountain. That was fun. <laughs> oh, I played on a tire mountain or two. Right. Uh, did I mention playing in the lead mines? Yeah. All right, lead affects your memory. Right. Remember when it was actually worth it to get up on Saturday mornings. Now it's a slog, and I just feel like dying every Saturday morning when I wake up and think, my God, it's so bad. I wish I had these cartoons from the 80s. <laughs> right. I mean, do you remember? I do remember that. What was your favorite cartoon? My favorites were Flintstones, uh, Scooby-Doo was a big favorite, Johnny Quest, I don't know if anybody remembers that. Um, weird, weird cartoon. But uh, me and my sister really liked Johnny Quest. And those big Hanna-Barbera get-togethers where they- The Laugh went, Olympics. The Laugh Olympics, that's yeah. what they were, yeah. Laugh Olympics presents the round the world triple team competition between the Yogi Yahooies, the Scooby Doobies, and the really rotten. I liked all those. I like my favorite probably that I remember was the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon where the dungeon master tricked these kids into coming into his universe for some reason so he could torture them. Okay. Hey, go kill this dragon for me, kids. That was their torture? They had <laughs> yeah, to but it, I dragon. was so dumb. I always wished I could have been one of those kids that the dungeon master drug in there and made me risk my life for his personal gain. Did you were, that was your hope and dream when you were younger? Yo, anything to get out of the lead mines. I am dungeon master, your guide. You can really learn a lot about a person's character based on where they know Tim Curry from. Tim Curry 
was to 80s movies what Phil Collins was to 80s music. He was everywhere. Sure. Um, I remember uh, first seeing Tim Curry in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, I also remember him most vividly from Clue mm -hmm. and from It. Yeah, yeah, to me, he'll always be It, the real one. The, the real it. Yeah, from the real it. Not the fake one. Yeah. It's out now. Who do you think would win in a fight between Tim Curry, Bruce Valanche, and uh, who was that guy in Torch Song Trilogy with the real gravelly voice like that? <laughs> do you remember that dude? I don't even know. No. Well, how about just between those two, Bruce Valanche and Tim Curry, who you think is going to win? Oh, man. It'd be, a, it'd be a sight to see. It'd be a showdown for sure. The OK Corral. I don't know. Couldn't call it. <laughs> Let us know in the comments who you think would win in their primes, I'm talking, at the top of their game between Tim Curry and Bruce Valanche. Right. Queens of Mark's very rules. <laughs> <laughs> Way before social media, this is how we knew where everybody was. Yeah, people rode their bikes back then. Right. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Conspiracy theorists. They faked the moon landing with CGI. CGI in 1983. Mm -hmm. Look, I love a good conspiracy theory just like anyone, but they, they, like, we landed on the moon. Sure we did. Rang like a bell. It's a mega structure. Hollow, hollow on the inside. Right, according to... Uh, Got lizard people in it. What was that movie that we watched that... <laughs> Moonfall. Moonfall. The moon attacks. <laughs> yeah, where the moon, the moon is attacks a planet Earth. mega structure. But no, this is uh, actually Jaws 3D, which I did see. Um, at the theater, along with, because there were only a, f I mean, you know, 3D movies had been done for years, but they were introducing some green screen stuff, some CGI stuff, um, so it kind of got, um, you know, rehabbed in the 80s, so there was like this little little moment where a bunch of 3D movies came out and you'd go to the theater, you'd get your glasses. I saw this and I saw, I eventually saw Friday the 13th 3D, but that was later on. And I didn't even see that with glasses actually. That was like later on when it came out on DVD. You're bragging about all your 3D movies. All I could do is hope and dream. I did see Anne of Horror in 3D. Did you? And I thought that was kind of cool. But most of my 3D experience, you remember how they used to show them on TV? Mm -hmm. You'd get the glasses like at 7-Eleven with a slush, if you could afford a large slushy or something. Mm -hmm. Or with a Happy it. Meal. Sometimes they would, you'd get them with a Happy Meal yeah. and stuff like that or on a cereal box. Hit and miss, to say the least. Right, yeah. Sometimes it did, it looked vaguely as if they were coming at you, and sometimes, most times... They didn't. Is it just me, Dan? Or did every arcade, bowling alley, or roller rink have carpet like this? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like our local rolling rink looked like this one up here in the uh, corner. Kind Is of there a way to scroll down? Because my personal faith, and I can't even remember if this was the right one, but the, the one with the uh, triangles and lightning bolts. I'd display that on my walls today. Pretty psychedelic. Right? I love it. This one hits home for me, holding up my mom's cigarette as she zips up my coat, and I know it does for you, too. So many family photos, a cigarette dangling out of the mouth. Right. So many of my memories of my mom sending me into the store. Hey, run in there and get me a pack of cigs. You can keep the change. I bought get my some mom. penny candy, yeah. I bought my mom's cigarettes regularly at uh, the store that, you know, store right down the street from us. So they knew me. They knew when I came in, you know, what brand I was going to get and who it was for. Yeah. So, yeah. Me too. They knew if I was getting uh, Marlboros, it was for my mom and dad. And if I was getting filterless camels, it was for me. I was seven. You started smoking when you were seven? No. Oh, okay. I will say real quick, I used to smoke when I quit. You can too, kids. That's right. Even if you're eight, nine, all the way up to that old. That's right still possible. It's never too late to improve. All right, Margie. I will, I'll read this one because I know that you've got a story here. Just a brief one. If you know who this is, your joints hurt in the morning. Oh, they do hurt in the morning, and I do. They, but... they do, yeah. Well, my story, which you seem to find surprising, and I don't at all, 
<laughs> I think he looks fabulous. Sure. Um, when I was young, I used to watch Captain Kangaroo, not particularly because I loved his show. It was okay. I had other favorites. Sesame Street was one of my favorites. Electric Company was my absolute all-time favorite morning kids show. But I watched his show because I wanted my hair to look like his. <laughs> okay. I did. It was Well, I mean, it's still not too late. It's never too late. Like I just said, I could totally rock that look. Just the hair or the whole ensemble, like the eyebrows, the mustache? Well, I like the hair, but I also liked the suit. Who do you think went in a fight between Captain Kangaroo and Captain Caveman? Captain Caveman! Probably Captain Caveman. I mean, he was pretty, he was pretty wild. So. Captain Kangaroo, doesn't he have an army of kangaroos at his beckon? I think so. That's, yeah. That's pretty tough. Yeah. He might be an admiral now. I'm not really sure. <laughs> probably is. He's probably got a fleet of kangaroos. I... Today, in 1987, your school served this for lunch, and you were excited about it. They probably did, and that probably was. Yeah, square pizza? Oh, man. I don't even know. Like that, It was like pizza that you were never able to find anywhere else. Pizza. <laughs> yeah. Let's put that in. Pizza with one Z. And to like, however they misspell it when it's not really, you know, chicken or beef. But compared to the other junk and crap they gave us, we look back on it fondly because, hey, at least it was pizza. Things that I, we used to love at our school: chili day. I loved chili day you because gotta, we'd get a peanut butter sandwich with it. Peanut butter honey. Well, we, we got peanut butter like syrup, peanut butter syrup type, but it was good, man. You know, yeah, same thing, but yeah, peanut butter. Oh, there's another there's another like and subscribe cat telling you guys hit like and subscribe. Now I'd always go around trying to get an extra peanut butter sandwich asking people if they didn't look like they were eating theirs. Carrie H. I can say her last name was always an easy mark, but I guess one day she'd had enough. And I went up and I said, Hey, can I get that uh peanut butter sandwich off you? She starts stabbing it violently with her spoon. <laughs> Nobody can have my sandwich. I guess she'd been asked one too many one times too many that times, day. My friend, yeah. <laughs> no helmet, no elbow pads, no shin guards, just a boy and his bike. That's how we rolled in the 80s. Yeah. We told you about the lead mines, right? Or girl? Yeah. Oh, just a girl. Oh, yeah. We used to, we had our little bike crew. We used to go everywhere. Yeah, for us too. And I'm surprised I'm still alive. I remember trying to jump over a open sewer, going down hills into. No traffic, because it was just country people. But it was like a four-way stop, and I would go down, hands over my head, no brakes on my 10-speed, and just fly into the intersection, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow, not a care in the world. Yeah. I remember doing several things on skateboards. I don't know how to skateboard, guys. I'll tell you that right now. I went down an, an entire hill on my hands and knees, lost most of my the skin on my knees. Um yeah, bike ramps made out of old plywood and boards that we'd knock the nails down yeah. and just prop up things, concrete blocks. Parents none the wiser. <laughs> like, they'd just send us out in the morning, we'd go out and just do death-defying things all day long and make it home somehow. Right. Who knows what they thought we were Having doing. Having escaped the jaws they of They had their death, own like problems, I guess. 10, I don't know. 10, 12 times that day. <laughs> and number 40, 80s hair don't care. Margie, how big did your hair get? Not as big as I wanted it to be, which was right about there. Right about that size. Well, that or to have maybe a simpler Captain Kangaroo type do. It, sure, either one on. would work good. I mean, maybe you could combine the two somehow. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> But yeah, very jealous. Um, I wanted to respond to this uh, this post be just because I'm impressed. I'm so impressed with that. How close do you get? Like how high would you say? Uh, okay, so my bangs would maybe be like a couple inches, and then I had I have a cowlick, so they would always go over to one side. They'd always be like, which was the style back then, and then I was always unsuccessful at this part though. Yeah, the hard. sides always looked very 
um, I don't know, fake somehow, not natural like this lady's do does. All right, folks, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe and join us in the future for more great programming. Yes, please. Is it Queens of <laughs> <laughs> Queens of something, Barry, ain't it? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Fisticuffs. Fisticuffs. The gentleman's game. <laughs> <laughs> Matt fight.